Hey guys, this is my real life series um, where I talk about Magic the Gathering as it relates to my real life. Um, last video I talked about uh, how Wizard of the Coast or whoever really hyped up the new set and a lot of people, a lot of my friends went out and purchased the case for $580 or $610 and uh, Battle for Zendikar and when they normally buy like you know a few packs and then you know they had problems paying off their rent or their loans or their vet bills or whatever hospital bills and it's uh i think i it's the first time i noticed the problem that much because of battle for zendikar where people people who normally purchase a box for a hundred dollars were now going to purchase a case or actually several cases of it so then I'm getting a lot of text messages. Hey, will you buy this collection? Will you buy that collection? So this video is kind of why I'm not going to buy those collections when I normally would. I'm not buying those collections because I realize that hoarding magic cards is really, really a bad habit. Um, it's not something that I want to ever continue. It's not something I want to do. Like hoarding anime figures, that's okay because they're like different figures. And I'm, I never have like two, well, no, that's not true. I, I rarely have two of the same figure or video game. Um, so video games is something else I collect. But in Magic cards, like I have a few hundred copies of the same cards and that's kind of what I'm doing. And I don't know why I do that. Uh, I, I really couldn't tell you why because right now I'm not selling, I'm not trading, I'm not... Uh, I guess I am buying, but I'm buying boxes instead of singles right now. I think it comes down to the fact that I just had enough of uh, the hoarding lifestyle, if you will. And I realized that I had a problem. I think my GF told me like I have a real problem because <laughs> see, uh, on, I buy a lot of Folios. Like you, probably, you guys probably don't know this, but I probably order a batch of Folios from like a vendor who maybe has you know anywhere from five to two, 200 of them. I've never purchased 200, but some vendors um, have a lot of, not failures, of a card. Punishing Fire is the card that I'm, I don't know what, what happened, but there was a certain period of time for a few months I just kept buying Punishing Fire. Not because it was going to be unbanned or anything, because I wanted to fill up a binder with it or something. Anyway, that was, I mean, that's a typical, that's like a typical hoarding behavior where you're just buying a lot of stuff and you don't really even know why you're buying it. Like if I, it's not because I felt like a punishing fire would be banned or, or unbanned and modern, or even it would be good. It was just because I one day I sat on my computer and was like, oh, I should buy punishing fire. Hey, this dude's got 200 of them. I think I made a video about that in the past. Uh, and I definitely made a video. I don't know if it was on this channel, but there was a period of channel uh, time. I just kept buying punishing fires. I always buy failure once, you know, a month. Um, I would just go buy some of her, and and uh, actually, Fanfei is actually making Filea altars, and I think so. She's going out buying Filea's to alter on them to send to me, and I think that actually works out better than me going to buy them myself, because then I don't get the altar. But yeah, it's kind of like an issue, and I realized there was an issue when the GF was like, "Hey, you know, like how do you play?" So she's learning to play the game, and I'm and. The concept C doesn't get is like, why would you ever need more than four copies of something? Which is absolutely correct. Maybe you need eight copies because you play like Modern Legacy. I don't know. But you, you would never need more than eight copies of something. Um, typically speaking. Maybe EDH. I don't know. But then you can re-sleeve. Anyway, her point was, hey, you have a couple hundred copies of, you know, X card. You can say Abrupt Decay. You can say, you know, it's Filiaz. Whatever. And what the hell is going on like <laughs> you have a problem and I was like no I don't have a problem everyone does this right <laughs> and then and you know and then I called my friend who was uh, also an avid magic collector and you saw him like he purchased I think four cases but I didn't upload all the videos I uploaded some of the videos and I uploaded the highlight video I think there was like 20 Gideons and I was like oh look at him he has a, more of a problem than I do <laughs> and she's like that's not an excuse like, just because this other dude has the same problem you do doesn't mean that you don't have a problem. Which, 
you know, what? You know, I guess that's true. And I called my friend who owns that store. I, I get these fat packs and stuff from. And I was like, yeah, look, he even owns a store. At least I don't own a store. And then it turns out that <laughs> the majority of my friends who play this game, they just are, um, we all have, I guess, problems with, because uh, again, like, why do I need a hundred file layers when they look the same? Now, if I, now, she so said, you know, I, I agree with this, that if I had file layers that had different artwork on them, which are altered, then I can commission as many of them as I want which is fine because that brings me enjoyment. But why would I need like a hundred folios? Like what would I ever do with all of them? Like, you know, look at them and be like, oh, cool. But like, could I even look at like a hundred at the same time? Like it's actually more than a hundred. I'm not going to say the exact number. Um, or even abrupt decay. Abrupt decay, I don't even look at because it's not, in my opinion, it's not that great of an artwork. Um, it's a good card. Fantastic card, but it's not something like I would frame up. Like Falios, if I had a hundred of them, I was trying to justify why I had so many. And I was like, oh, I'm going to like put them in a frame and then put them in my office, my work office, and then they'll look awesome. That I kind of get, uh, but Abrupt Decay and Punishing Fire, like what? Like, no, I wouldn't do that for those cards because I don't even look at them. They're just, they sit in a locker, in a storage facility locker, um, and somewhere where I live, very close, I'm not gonna tell you exactly where my storage facility is. And they just sit in these, you know, boxes. They sit in these U-Haul boxes, like, and I know exactly where they are. Um, they, they sit in a U-Haul box. The U-Haul box is in one of those blue container boxes uh, to prevent, like, leakage and stuff like that, I guess. And it's sitting right next, now my abrupt decays um, are sitting right next to my boxes of, what's it called? Funko figures. No, not Funko. Good smile figures. Um, I like the boxed, empty boxes, because the anime figures I take out and I just put around the home. But the boxes I have to put somewhere. Like I just have stacks of boxes even now that I need to move to storage. So yeah, that was the problem. I think hoarding was a big problem with me and my friends. I've I've talked to my friends and I haven't talked to my friends yet because I don't know if it's an actual problem. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, leave a comment below if you feel like it is a problem or you feel like it's okay. Um, I don't know, like I'm kind of confused as to like is if I actually like, is this actually a problem I should you know try to like address or like, I don't know. Anyway, bye guys.